How important do you think building a personal brand is in 2024, 2025 and beyond to growing a business? It's credibility, which is one of the most important things. It's authenticity, which is one of the most important things. It comes with a lot of heat and a lot of smoke, which I don't think many people are prepared for. And it depends what you're selling. I mean, a personal brand is exactly that, a personal brand. If you have a company, then your company has a brand ethos. Mm -hmm. So you have to, what's the point of a brand in the first place? The point of a brand in the first place is credibility and relatability and authenticity. And trust. And yeah. trust. So it has to be done at some regard, at some level. You can decide if you want to hide behind a company to protect your personal life, or if you can be the face of your company yourself and suffer. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. Mm -hmm. Your personal life suffers when you're a personal brand. True. But especially when you're Andrew Tate. Well, yeah, in my, in my <laughs> particular case, but then also there's been massive and monumental benefits. There are some good things about it. Right. So it depends what you want to do and what industry you want to get involved in. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ask me about personal branding and come and say, should I do a personal brand? And I'd often argue that it doesn't matter if you should or not. Firstly, can you? Mm -hmm. Can you do a personal brand? And what are you reverse engineering or what are you optimizing for? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, can you do a personal brand? What about you as a person is going to get people vested in you? And if you actually go down the rabbit hole and analyze it, you're going to realize that unless you've suffered and had a difficult life and have a bunch of interesting stories and war stories and all the things we're talking about, all the bad things, you're going to suffer to build a personal brand anyway. If you're born into a rich family and your life goes well and everything's fine and now you have a bunch of money and you try and start a personal brand based on the fact that you have money, nobody's going to care. Nobody's interested in all the good things that have happened to you and nobody's interested in how nice your life is. Nobody cares. Maybe if you show enough money, you can get some temporary interest, but not for long. The only people who can build a brand off having a perfect life are women. Look, I'm beautiful. Look, I'm in Louis Vuitton. Look, I'm skiing. Chicks can do that because they're physically attractive. Men can't. All the men you can name with truly strong personal brands have very interesting stories. And interesting stories usually involve danger, risk, pain, suffering. Those are the things. Triumph over Triumph over, oh, yeah. exactly. So if you say, oh, should I build a personal brand? Well, can you? Mm -hmm. And if you can, then perhaps you should consider it. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, then you have to sit and say, well, how could I? And the only way you could is to suffer. Are you prepared to suffer in the real world, not on the internet, not pretending to suffer on Twitter. Are you prepared to suffer in the real world, the genuine consequence and the genuine risk that it's going to take for you to be interesting enough for people to sit and want to listen to you, for you to have a strong personal brand? That's the actual question True. when people say about personal branding. Because Batman's personal brand is kicking everyone's ass and he only did that because his parents got killed. <laughs> so you have to decide, do you want to have your, would you choose to have your parents killed to be Batman? Mm -hmm. At that level. So. Because I think a lot of personal branding, especially at the beginning, at the beginning of personal branding, you could buy a fast car and that was it. You could rent a car and talk some shit. But everyone's bored of that now. Right. I kind of feel like I've raised the bar and kind of ruined it for everyone. It's, it's kind of- <laughs> One I, million percent. It's kind of <laughs> hard now to like yeah. be interesting. They're like, yeah, but did they throw you in a dungeon in Romania? Like, boring. <laughs> boring. Do you have a Bugatti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of ruined it. Yeah, dude, yeah. the Bugatti Lambo broke. Yeah. No, but like, the reason, the reason I ask is because we have, you know, a big part of our audience, we have a newsletter, we have a school yep. community, and we teach, you know, different parts of personal branding. So I'm curious if you have any tips. Obviously, yeah. no one's going to have that. Yeah, there's, there's, my, there's, my, there's my tips for you. Go suffer. And share those stories in an empowering way. With Go people. suffer and make and tell people all the lessons you learned along the way. And people will respect you knowing that you've been through something which is difficult. 